Fast movement in the spotlight. All right, we're back with Russell Brand, and let's talk about your new movie, Get Him to the Greek. Explain your character for everyone. I play Alder Snow, a disruptive wild man rock star who has to be got from London to the Greek by Jonah Hill. He is like a big baby. Literally? Did he wear a diaper on set or? Oh no, I'm like a big baby, Alder Snow. He necessarily has to be indulged and needs to get all fixed up all the time, you know, he's like someone who's got no discipline. You just like to suckle on the teeth all day long. Well, Joe, that is actually true, but it does not inform my character choices. So were there any true-to-life things in the movie? Because you do some pretty outlandish things as your character, but you have in real life as well. Yes, I was once a drug smuggler, not for economic gain, just because, you know, what I said to you before about my outbox not being an inbox did not apply when it came to smuggling narcotics. So we were able to draw upon these experiences for one of the comedic set pieces of the film. Also, the threesome had pertinence you know, with respect to my own life. Now I'm in a relationship that where you know these matters are irrelevant but uh, in the past threesomes should be done in my view with two women not a mate and one woman I was gonna say if you had to choose with anyone I like Jonah and all but um, I mean he doesn't have the greatest ass well he was actually the highlight of that threesome for me Elizabeth Moss cluttered it up I wish it had just been me and Jonah under a blanket high on life Well, speaking of high, you have this amazing quote about the music industry and that if younger artists did harder drugs, it would weed out the crap and just, you know, make the genre a lot better. Yes, I said I was joking because I'm a patron of a uh, drug rehabilitation center in the UK and I'm myself a recovering heroin addict, so I know better than most people how serious drug addiction is. But Rolling Stone said to me, what things would you do to improve the music industry? I said, one, close the internet. Two, make sure that all... (laughs) I was just making it up. My next one call was not to Barack Obama insisting that these policies be implemented because uh, I don't think children should take drugs. I mean, you know, the fact that I have to clarify that is for me a cause for deep concern for the British media because the, the you know it's the Daily Mail in England that went Russell Brand insists children take heroin. I do not. I don't even think they should have sugar. Well, let's clear up the air on other stuff too. Adopting Justin Bieber, true or false? I think Justin Bieber's parents would be foolish to let him go at this stage of his career. <laughs> that lad's a cash cow you know i'll adopt him if he wants he seems like a lovely little fella well speaking of lovely fellas p diddy in this movie i was not expecting such a great performance from him um what was it like working with him brilliant p diddy is a revelation it made me laugh a lot watching him i was so sort of fascinated i stared at him too much i was always staring 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 at p diddy because he just kept saying stuff and doing stuff that was really really amusing i too was astonished by how funny he was Well, for people out there who haven't seen the movie yet, in like 20 seconds or less, let them know why they need to rush out to the theaters this weekend and check out Get Him to the Greek. They can do what they want. I don't care if they go or not. If they fancy going to see a good, funny film, they can go. But they might want to stay at home and make love or look out the window. All of those acts have equal merit in my mind. I'm confident that they'll go to see the film for the right reasons. I don't like urging people to do things unless they want to. Seems desperate. But you don't have sex with someone who's going, Please, have sex with me! <laughs> I'm so lonely. But if someone goes, I've got a gorgeous willy, you might just be interested. Well, I don't know about a willy, but... Uh... Well, that's because you are not English. But once you've checked your lexicon, you are going to get an erection that's going to knock your chin off. All right, I will take your word for that. <laughs> so, Russell, thank you so much for hanging out with us. It was a real pleasure. You're and... a fine DJ, Joe. Don't get into any controversies. I will do my best not to. Thanks again. Putting the world's biggest stars at your fingertips. The Mass Movement with Joe Bermudez.
Movement now, now. at MassMovementRadio.com.